Hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial today. Today's tutorial is to how to convert uh, hard copy or printed maps on paper uh, into digital format to be used in any GNG package uh, like petrol landmark uh, landmark applications or RMS or uh, or whatever. Uh, we are we will use a uh, so application called uh, Neura map for this operation usually uh, receive the map f uh, as a hard copy like this uh, and you can uh, scan it from scanner you can choose uh, output format uh, either GBG as a picture or uh, image file or PDF uh, I prefer to use PDF format to be easier to use in uh, Neuromap software. In this example, uh, we have a structure contour map on top upper wash G formation. Uh, this is a produce, producer formation from western desert of Egypt. Uh, now we have uh, some contours starting from 4000 to 4600 feet and uh, the bay or area of interest of the reservoir uh, bounded from uh, with the last contour which is 4400 feet and bound, bounded from this side with um, ceiling fault. Uh, the, the application can do uh, digitizing for uh, contour as well as the, the fault we will show you how to do this very simple and easy go for Neora map and create a new project called Abu Rawash G let's say contour then click OK OK the application asks you to uh, either to digitize a new project or open existing project or scan uh, from hard copy or whatever. Uh, we choose uh, digitize now and point out for the image location. I put the, uh, this image as a PDF on the desktop. Then next, next again. Uh, in this window, the application will ask you what what uh, option do you want to make in this uh, uh, image or map. For a while, we can use a contour, uh, but the rest of this application we can show you how to use it because we have tons of features inside this application. Then click next, finish. Okay. The map already loaded, uh, and the application first asks you to calibrate the document or image. Of course, we choose yes. Uh, now we have X and Y, as well as this scale. Uh, we have to choose three points as a reference. Uh, let's start uh, with the first point. Let's see. Uh, once you put, uh, you press Alt and Z, it will move in. Will will zoom in. Sorry. Okay. Click click here for the first point. We'll ask you set uh, unit uh, in meter because X Y in meter. Then click X, which is eight hundred five six zero. For Y, six zero zero one six zero. Then click OK. Now we have uh, we already selected the first point. Then we have to choose the second point, which is here. X for X is uh, eight hundred one six zero, and Y is six hundred. One six zero. Then click OK. So the remaining is a third point. So the third point uh, assigned to be here. 
four x eight hundred one six zero and four y which is in the middle between these two values let's say five nine 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 six zero then click ok uh, once you assign these three reference point shouldn't be uh, uh, on the same line uh, just click on shift alt z to zoom out okay now the map ready for digitizing uh, click uh, this icon which is uh, start capturing the mood now you have to add add contour start with the first contour add and choose contour then click ok uh, as we mentioned before we are focusing on only uh, th this contour starting from 4400 and click here start digitize uh, while you digitize you can zoom in or out uh, at alt z alt z okay here here i know it is not more accurate for dig this digitizing uh, process but in your real data you can focus more because this is uh, just the example here. Okay, so we continue. Start yes here, uh, and name this uh, contour as 4400 uh, and press enter. Then repeat again this uh, uh, this step. Just click on add and choose contour. Click OK. We already finished the four four zero zero start four 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 two uh, sorry four three one zero just follow the the contour okay here okay then finish here and name it four three zero zero repeat all of these steps till reach to the 4,000 feet okay okay now we already finished all of these uh, uh, contours already stored in, in the project database we have one two three four five contours to the top of the reservoir now we need to digitize also the, the, uh, the fault to be to bound uh, this reservoir later on in uh, in betrayal. Uh, now we have uh, to we have to choose something different, which is fault polygon, and click in OK. Uh, as as we mentioned, polygon should be closed. Close the polygon not an open end like uh, other contours just a click and follow the con the polygon here forward okay 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 uh, and we can name this fault with, with f say f1 and press enter uh, now the software is ready to export this data as a digital format just save and file export and with the uh, software will ask you uh, which which layer you want to export uh, i prefer to to export each one each one is different for, uh, for a while uh, we can export map contour and then click export uh, be careful to use the uh, petrel ascii in the output format then export yes yes this is exported file which this one is x and y and this this one is uh, count for uh, the contour digitizing contour number one and two we can ignore it later in uh, and this is the value of the contour or digitized contour we have uh, five digitize the contour 
each uh, digitizing is hit, uh, separated by negative 999, which is a standard separation process. And we can close this one for a while, or you can save this one in file in any any or anywhere in your uh, in your PC for future use. Okay. Uh, we already exported uh, the, uh, the contour. Now we have to export also the fault polygon export vector. Same process like we did in contour. Choose fault polygon and choose vitrell ASCII. Then export. Yes. Fortunately, we have only one set of, uh, of, of digitizing, which is one was fault one, and this one is X and Y and the contour, the, the fault name. Okay. Uh, we have these two files and ready for exporting into the Petrel. Uh, later on, we can uh, show you how to build a, a, a map, a digitized map in Bitrill and visualize it into a 2D and 3D view. And uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.